Hey guys, Dragonfire CDN on the camera, and welcome back to another episode of Factorio. I am going to need to expand this system to boost my speed of research because this is going really, really slowly. So that's going to be one of the first things I'm going to do right now. And I'm going to get some copper, I need some iron as well. It's stacking up now. Lots of iron in there. Make eight more to have loads of that. Now these 50 inserters out there. Now prepare for this. So I have that going there, and then I'll have the other one there, and then I'll go to there. And then I'll go into one here, and it'll go down to there. And it'll go to one there, and that'll go to there, it's there. <laughs> That's one, two, three, four, five, six. So that'll be six. Seven, eight, nine, I think, anyways. So that'll be four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah. All I need to do now is move this down a block. Yeah, essentially this all hopefully will speed up my production of everything that I need to get done here. See here, because this is stocking up slowly. This drastically sped up my production already, but it needs to be faster. See, there's one. Because now we've got loads of these dudes producing pieces of this for each one of those. And this is producing those at a fast enough rate to be fast. So we'll add another level there. Essentially he gets constantly replenished until he's done being filled, you know, all that good stuff. I have one automation science pack, I'm going to put that in the end there. <laughs> that loads up, that's ready, and I'll build that there, and I'll build that there. Right, automation has been sped up. Look at how fast that bar's going up now, it's like one per second. One little bit of bar per second. And now we've run out of science packs. Here's my fear. Okay. No problem, really. Because my iron cannot keep up. So, I'm going to have to expand my iron. Two more of them. I'm going to remove them from there. Pull that out. Right, so I need to set up a new iron system. This will be... This is an old iron system that I used to use a lot. Um, in older servers that I have in my uh, save file locations. So that should now keep up with my iron production. A lot of mining going on there now, producing several materials at once. <laughs> to keep these furnaces active,
So that's got a lot of um, materials there. Lots of crafting going on. This is all keeping up very well. It's just, there's all these different things here, all these different systems that are going on right now. They just need a lot of materials going into them right now. And that's just kind of keeping me going. Uh, let's see here. Yes, all of this is pretty much shut down now. This is going to run out and that's going to shut down. This is all temporary uh, difficulty. That'll start up in its own eventually, but right now, while we're waiting for that to get its systems done, I'm going to make two more uh, stations for this, because we're going to need even more of these uh, crafting places to produce even more materials, because we need a lot more materials than we currently are producing, and that can be quite difficult sometimes to keep in track of. I have one there, I'll remove that, I'll have one there. We're going to need this to stay intact for that self's own production method. So this copper line here. Yeah, so I'm going to have to split off this copper because my copper line needs splitting off a second. So if I get this, I can split that off into two coppers there. Copper line one will come up to this component here, go up and connect to that. My iron line here also requires a splitting off. So I need another splitter, yay. Because what little comes past this point needs splitting off anyways. So this bit still goes into that, but this bit here I have to turn into an underground belt going up. And I'll sort the rest of that out in a second. <laughs> Connect that up with an inserter. That also needs an inserter, and up there it also needs an inserter. I know what you're saying, I could probably just move that up, but I can't be bothered to, because then it would be taking from the same piece of copper. Actually, I can be bothered to, because I just realised how much better that would be. See, copper starts coming in. Uh, sorry, the iron starts co coming in. My brain had a fart again. So that's expandable from that direction. Um, along the fact that I have to now pull that out, cutting half of my entire base's supply of energy in half there. This is like a main cable. If that dies, it's game over for everything else, pretty much. <laughs> so I want an inserter taking from that. Okay. So my assembler there and assembler there. Bring that up an extra block because I like being OCD neat. This will craft the iron gear wheels and this will craft the automation science pack, which will then be brought down to there by two inserters that need to be powered. There we go! So that's now coming down here along the conveyor there. Pretty much doubling my supply, so this will slowly back up. Now just but this is also using it at the same rate, so Yeah, my iron's backing up at least, slowly but surely backing up. Not for much longer. Haha. <laughs> uh, the recipe for a splitter. Um, that's 
quite a lot of stuff that I'm not going to be able to access to at the moment. <sighs> Notice how fast this is going now. All the speed! <laughs> I need to speed up my automation here. Yeah. That. Um. I have no idea what any of these things do. I'll just research that for the sake of researching it. <laughs> Here we go. Solar energy. Solve good things there with solar energy because that powers things without the needing of other things. And that's where accumulators come in as well. And if I can find the damn things. Comes after electric energy distribution one. You get uh, energy accumulators. So as a matter of fact, I will want this researching instead because that allows access to the energy accumulators but the accumulators require a whole ton of stuff before them that I'm going to be researching in the time being so uh, this requires automation 2 and the engine so I'll chop that out of there and start the research on the engine which then gives me access to the fluids and all that stuff and then I'll do this next sorry it's just me uh, sorting out everything inside of my head while I'm trying to figure this crap out because all of this stuff is confusing sometimes. I give you a hundred iron and I give you a hundred iron. Bonus! Bonuses! <laughs> Just to keep this production running because it's slow. See, so yeah, it's just down here. If I press Alt, I can see everything. <coughs> <coughs> oh, God. Again, should have turned my mic off for it. <sighs> At least now my production's keeping up a little bit. Because then that goes down here, passes on down here. Lands in here, boosts the research a bit, but then it gets moved into this containment, and then it eventually runs out a little bit. So I can kind of help speed that up a bit as well. Because I can produce some myself, and I can go down here and I can give them to this, so that this all productions itself done. Give that one extra, for example, so that this one can start, and I'll give that one an extra as well, so that that keeps running. Uh, just giving things a bit of help. Almost there. Uh, going up really fast uh, research now. <laughs> Anyways guys, that'll be it for this video. I've reached my timer. I hope you all enjoyed today's episode of Factorio. I sure did. This is my favourite game when it comes to uh, automation. Anyways. I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye!